It's Bourbon Night. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. Welcome in, everybody. It's another Sunday afternoon here in the heart of Kentucky, the heart of bourbon country. But we're actually talking about non-Kentucky things. That's right. This this we're time. We're going outside. We're venturing outside. Now, we are two born and bred Kentuckians. If you're familiar with the show, you've heard this before. But it doesn't have to be made in Kentucky. Yeah, 90 to 95% is all made within a... 60 minute drive yeah any radius from where we are right now but that's a common misconception that it has yeah. to be made here well you all know you guys are in the know they know but most people are like yeah it's been made in kentucky right no it just maybe it should be no 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 oh, we're not doing that we're that, not doing Jack. that we're not doing that no 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 we're venturing out we're uh looking at some other ones and we're gonna get a pour going right yes. off the bat you're right we do say that all the time no you say that all the time <laughs> no, fair enough um, i called him on it the other day we're gonna start with some few a uh, few bourbon. It's 93 proof, and this comes from Chicago. That's right. All right, Chicago, Illinois. And this is from Matt at Whiskey Crusaders. He sent us this uh, a while yes. back. But yes, we want to start with this one because it's 93 proof, and everything else we have on the list for potentials is higher than that. So I think uh, just so you guys can be mulling it over, see what you want to have us try today. We won't try them all. Uh, we've got Union Horse, five-year-old, straight bourbon, Garrison Brothers Cowboy, Woodenville Cast Strength Single Barrel, Clyde Mays Cast Strength, Nine Year, Breckenridge High Proof Blend, and 1816 Chattanooga Cast Strength Single Barrel. McScrooge's pick. McScrooge's. So, we can't get through all those because we <sighs> had quite an evening last night, but we'll try to get through That's as many as we can. If you are coming here just for the whiskey reviews, we put timestamps down in a pinned comment. So the first comment uh, pinned down below. So that way you can jump around and, and uh, skip on the chit chat. Yep. If you're here for the chit chat, then, then welcome. stick around. <laughs> <laughs> welcome everyone in the chat. Uh, we were kind of talking back and forth. Uh, there's Cap and Make It Happen. Joseph Braids, I was in the chat. Uh, Brian Brennicky, Todd Brennicky, Cooper. Brennicky, Let's just name everyone. Jason S. We're digging a hole we can't get out Tony, of right now. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jeff Bush. Um, Kyle from Bourbon Blind was in the chat early. Go check out his channel here on YouTube uh, and all that jazz. So we're going to do our, um, right off the bat, we're going to do some sample shout outs right off the bat. Have you guys watched the McKenna episode yet? Yeah, if you haven't, that might be odd to you. But if you have watched the McKenna episode, our last one, Corkin, you get that. You get it. You get that reference. Um, and now you know where to go. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So, <clears throat> and we got a few. I mean, not, we have a lot. Yes, we have a few. We have a few, few, and we have a few sample shout outs. Um, yes. So we better go ahead and get that started. Steve A wants you to read the whole list. The whole list. The whole I list. Can't, I can't the do it. The whole thing? The whole time. Uh, just tell me what to grab it and I'll. Well, all right. Uh, I don't really have an order. Okay. Um, so basically, to give you a little bit of recap of the past 24 hours, Perry, who is normally our moderator, but. And is he in, might be in towards the end of the show. He might be. Um, but he's in Louisville spending time with his family. He hosted a. This is my bourbon podcast live recording last night with the women of bourbon. It was Andrea Wilson of um, Michter's, Peggy No Stevens, and myself. And I was very honored uh, at the Silver Dollar in Louisville. So we were able to meet up with some patrons who we saw in New Orleans and who we haven't met before and, and have met before. And yeah, it was great. But uh, Tammy and Brian were hanging out with us in New Orleans and we weren't able to take all of our goodies back with us. Uh, on the plane, so they were kind enough to take some back for us and then give them to us yesterday. Now we have them back. So in our now possession. we have our, them in our possession, and we can do sample shout outs. So with this. start yep. with that. Okay. Because this is awesome. This is awesome. So we had a uh, a meetup. It's Bourbon Night meetup down at uh, what was that bar called? Hydra of Wilson. Hydra. <laughs> Don't get your feelings hurt. <laughs> this uh what? Oh uh. Barrel proof. Bar. Barrel proof. Barrel proof bar down in New Orleans. And uh, that's where this was given to us. Check Look at it. It out. This is the rules, the laws of the bourbon. The laws of bourbon. Right here. Yes. And these are Samples. numbered. And this says drink more bourbon. And it's even got, uh, yeah, like a bourbon a logo. A bourbon stamp. Yeah, the drink more bourbon logo stamped in uh, one of these. And, and Isn't that cool? Of these. Yeah. See, there's some uh, some four roses samples, some picks, and so forth, and and, and other things, all right there in this uh, really cool. There. Really. You got to cool. be gentle with it. Yeah. Absolutely. It's handmade. Yeah. So this is from. Did you say from our Scott, our friends Scott, Katie, and. No, I hadn't yet. Oh. Yeah. So go ahead. <laughs> Scott, Katie, and Brandon, right? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this. 
Uh, they think, also made. I think this is 3D printed. Um, so this is a barrel with the Bourbonite logo on the top, and it happens to have some McCormick uh, spices, Old Bay seasoning here. But you put whatever it. you want in here, you know. It's true. You can put whatever, whatever your heart desires. So this is awesome from them. This is awesome. We were we were looking forward to getting this back in our possession so we could do it for a sample shout out, and it is amazing. And thank you all again for that. All right, I was. Not ready for the uh, super chats yet. <laughs> so Big Win One Thirty said, "Since I've watched you two, my whiskey game slash life has been turned up!" Exclamation point! Exclamation point! Thanks for the knowledge. Well, that's no problem. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Glad Cheers you get some uh, enjoyment you. out of it. And Jeff Winbush begs us to please acknowledge Trevor Wilson, you meanies. <laughs> hey, Trevor Wilson. <laughs> and Jeff and Trevor. Thank you, Jeff, <laughs> for that. Uh, anyways, um. For those of you who don't know, we came up with a little bit Barrel of an monkeys. inside joke. Um, I call Scott Robot Scott now because he has a very like, it's like Scott one three two seven eight four. <laughs> like, <laughs> and we made a joke about it during one live, and, and they thought that was funny. So, <laughs> yes, everyone say hi to Trev. <laughs> uh, also coming back from New Orleans was this uh, Four Roses book that was written by Al Young. And that is signed by Master Distiller Brent Elliott. I'll show you guys. We've already got one. We got one last year. We did. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, give this away at some point. We haven't mm -hmm. decided what we're going to do or how we're going to do it. So just stay tuned to that. But this is an awesome book. Signed by Brent. Um, I don't even know what to tell you to do. <laughs> you got a whole stack of things over there. Speaking of Brian and Tammy, uh, this, was, this was in our bag. This is a Lincoln Road... Four Roses pick. Mm -hmm. It's a OESQ. It's eight years and eight months. Single barrel of deliciousness. Uh, 55.3, so 110.6 proof of... How about that? Quick yeah, math. they picked that up for us. Thank you, guys. How sweet. So awesome of you. We're, We're spoiled. Long. We also, from New Orleans, got a king cake. Oh, yeah. From Lenny... And his wife, Let's who we met... Uh, we met Lenny uh, the first year, I think. Um... And so we've run into him every year. And this year, him and his wife uh, were at, let's see. May I? Sure. Uh, yeah. It is Judy and Lenny. And this is a king cake. Don't dump it. <laughs> and it's already open. Oh, yeah. Yep. So they sent that to us uh, because she was admiring my Four Roses beads, and I gave them to her. Uh, and that's what happens when you give someone beads. You get a king cake. You get a king cake sent to you in the mail. Pretty nice. Which is awesome. Yeah. So thanks to them for yes. sending that over to us. Uh, we also, in New Orleans, hung out with our friend Joseph Brazo, who's also in the chat. Um, What's up, Joseph? He sent us all kinds of treats. Look at these things. These are... Uh... Applets and... Cutlets. <laughs> Apples and cutlets. They are delightfully soft apple and ap apricot confections with walnuts and all natural flavors. I feel like that would be interesting to, to taste with a bourbon. Yes. Hey, golf whiskey. Where's the, where's the, where's the, where's the, where's the, where's the, where's Starting 309, uh, 309 tour, tour at Four Roses. Roses. We'll watch the show later. We'll all enjoy right. the tour. And cheers to you, golf whiskey. So what else did Joseph send us? Well... Probably because I was talking Never about... Never heard of this before, but this should be interesting. How the shirt that was uh, in one of our packages was too small for me to wear is a large... Yay! Brazo Orthodontics. If you have messed up teeth... No, and you need don't to get them say fixed, that. Go to the only man who can make them right. Is that the only person? <laughs> Probably. You're not a slogan writer for him. No. Rejected. <laughs> All right, well, I'll come up with a jingle for you, Joseph. No. Brazo Orthodontics... Come get your teeth fixed. <laughs> right? It runs. Okay, there you go. You can have that one for free, Joseph. Let's move on to the samples. Yeah, uh, he also sent a sample called Drink Me. I've never heard of that <laughs> bourbon before, so that's going to be interesting. Um, and Tugi's uh, inv Invitation, which is a Booker's, which we've already cracked open and had a little, little drink. I just wanted to verify that it was Booker's. <laughs> yeah, it's an older it Booker's. Is. I can't remember what, uh, what the thing is on it, but... Yeah, for sure. Um, and then we got some Eagle Rare uh, picks. This is a 12-year-old uh, Eagle Rare from, uh, from Clint. Clint. And a, uh, another 12-year. Yeah, I think it's the same thing. Oh, they're uh, calling you out that you totally ripped off Take Me Out to the Ball Game for that jingle. No. Yeah. I'll see you, you in court. 
<laughs> so thanks. Clint. Do we have a lawyer in the chat? Because he's gonna need one. Yeah, I'm gonna need one. <laughs> um, and oh yeah. Is Todd Cooper uh, in the yes. chat? Yes, Todd Cooper is in the chat. He uh, so he brought, brought he brought this on behalf of Tony, which uh, is awesome because we were talking about how we love Tony, forgiven. who lives up in Maine. Yes, oh, and Jose, we'll get to that in just a second. But this, look at this, forgiven, wild turkey, forgiven. This is batch three hundred three. Um, love it. Yeah, he each, each he gave us each one of these because um, he has like apparently a, a, a stock a stock. a stock of them. So thank you, Tony, for here. We must have done something here. real nice to deserve that. Yeah, that is. Amazing. And so then, many treats. Well, Cheers actually, real quick. we got Jose. Hashtag still Austin represents. Balloon lives. <laughs> Hashtag balloon lives. Hashtag nutty squad. I don't know when that balloon's going anywhere because We're taking bets. No one wants to. No, I've offered this weeks in a row. No one wants to bet. No one? Well. They yeah. want to know what your hat means, Chad. B-R-B-N. Sound it out. Bourbon. 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 Urban. Hans Welke says he studied bird law. Bird law? <laughs> <laughs> Is that it? Mm -mm. No, we got, how could I forget? We got my Oscars bag, aka my goodie bag from Monica. Yeah. If, if, whenever so. I showed up last night, she had a whole bag full of treats just for me. Um, I don't know that I can go through all of this. And look, you Here. got to visit Fort Wayne, Indiana. She sent, yeah, visit Fort Wayne, Indiana stuff. She got me some awesome chocolate that I'm really looking forward to. Mm -hmm. uh, a purse. Mm -hmm. um, some of the, the best hair ties in the world. They look like little phone cords, but they keep your hair from getting that weird line. I don't yeah. know how to explain it. Fort Wayne, mugs. Indiana mugs. I got some coffee. I got some new pins that's for my jacket. I got all kinds of stuff. Boom. Pretty awesome. It did feel like showing up at like an Oscar party and yeah. being like, here's a goodie bag. And Monica's the like, best. That's the first time oh we met goodness. Monica in person, and uh, she does not disappoint. She lives up to the hype. It's true. Yeah, that's true. Everything that I've heard is, is true. I think that's all for sample shout out. Goodness, that was a lot. Yeah. Uh, we don't really have anything for what's new. Um, which is okay. I don't have to buy stuff all the time. Uh, oh, I also got an Elijah Craig uh, A119 from Brian Bernicke. I, I gotta, I gotta contact you about that, Brian. Uh, after the live. He owes the guy some money. <laughs> he's gonna, <laughs> he's gonna send some guys to break money caps. Anyways, you all are. right. And thank you to everyone that was there last night and supported us and Perry and and watched and hung out for dinner. That was fun. Yeah. Uh, fun times. So. It's really good. Hopefully, we get to do it again one day. Yeah. Hope so. Hopefully it becomes an annual thing. That'd be cool. I would like it. Uh, oh, I also want to say for the Patreons in the chat that I just posted uh, another one of our patron-only podcasts. So go check that out on patreon.com. It's you just did. kind of, yeah, about 20 minutes ago. It's just all about what we've been up to. It kind of brings people up to speed. Mm -hmm. It's been a while since we posted uh, one of those podcasts. We've got two more in the bag. Oh, so yeah. So those will be those will be coming out regularly. And, uh, yeah, try to do that more often. Ugh. So what would you think about Few? So for those of us... Just, just joining us. I drank For those it. of us just joining us, I drank it already. Uh, it's few, ninety three, uh, proof, uh, Chicago bourbon. Pam's here. Hi, Hi Pam. Pam. Pam was there last night. Pam was there last night. I think it's got a coffee note. Really? Yeah. Hmm. So again, this is few. Oh, I kind of see that on the nose. Yeah. It's really sweet. It's too sweet for me. I think. Yeah, no, I'd like is. to try something higher proof from them. It is definitely sweet, but I like it. Bourbon tea, <laughs> ah, another, another awesome person that we met last night. Yes. Shared some amazing pours with us. Thank you for that. We'll go ahead and... He says, yeah. I'm listening from the road and thank... Road, thank you again. You guys are awesome. Can't tru truly tell you what it means... I'm sorry. Should I be reading yes. this? Yes. <laughs> I'm listening from the road. Thank you again. You guys are awesome. Can't truly tell you what it means uh, to do. Well, he's obviously on the road, so you know means to have made the connection. To have made the connection that we made, that we this, made this, weekend. this weekend amongst friends. Cheers to you all. It's not you. It's, it's us. us. It's us. We, we can't read. We can't read. We sure can't. But uh, thank you for that, and it's really glad to meet you. <laughs> thank you again for those pours. Yeah, thank you. Lip sealed them on what they were, because, you know. <laughs> Very good. So, few. Yeah, I'm with you, Sarah. I'd like to try some higher proof few, but uh, this, is, this, is, this is pretty good. This is pretty good stuff. It is pretty good. I enjoy. 
Eric Jansen, thank you so much. He just got his Elijah Craig Barrel Proof A119 on Thursday. Boom, congratulations. Cheers. My reading is off today. That's okay. I'm a little tired. Mm-hmm. Wasn't necessarily a late night last it night. It wasn't but a late night. It was a jammed pack. Well, night. I feel like I'm losing my voice a little bit. I don't usually uh, talk. But I had a microphone. It doesn't really make sense. Mm -hmm. I guess I just talked a lot. You talked a lot afterwards. I did. Without talk a, a lot. microphone. Yes, that's true. I tend yeah. to talk a lot in general. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to try next, Sarah? I don't know. Where do we want to go? Where do they want us to go? Mm. Tell it to know. I think I would like to go to this 105 proof, uh, the Breckenridge. I'll well, step it up. Do I want to try that though, or do I want to have some of these other things instead? Oh, I kind of want to try this Union Horse. Okay. Let's do that. It's in the box. It's in the box. What's in the box? Union Horse. Union Horse. Five-year-old straight bourbon. That's what's in the box. Oh, my hair's doing this weird wavy thing today. It's waving. Look at this. It's waving Look at this. What's that cool? <laughs> it's a whole thing. So shout out to uh, Wilson from Union Horse for sending these. This is their five-year-old straight bourbon, and uh, we each have a sample here. Let's mm -hmm. just pour from this one. We shall share. Union Horse. So they're, um, let's see, where are they out of? Kansas? Yes, that's right. I met them in Chicago, but they're in fact in Kansas. Yes. <laughs> Joseph Brazo said Gwyneth Paltrow's head, and that got flagged for Potentially inappropriate content. Well, Gwyneth Paltrow's head. You need to watch it, <laughs> Joseph. Is. Yeah, I mean, who, who knows? I don't understand. Who knows? But, I don't know. YouTube, just doing his job. So, Thanks, um, Tammy. Five year, if he didn't say the proof, we might have to guess the proof. He his name is Robot Scott. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh, that's so funny. I love it. Robot Scott. <laughs> That's not confused. That's what happens when he doesn't like something. <laughs> yeah. Five year old. Hope you saw your sample shout out at the beginning. Oh, yeah. Five year old mm. Kansas bourbon. Again, we don't know the proof. Oh, I know it was a seven reference. I just don't know What's why. What's in the you... box? Yeah, yeah, I just didn't know why YouTube flagged Gwyneth Paltrow's head as being inappropriate. Oh, as what's well, being in yeah. the box. No, I know what's in the box. Spoilers for seven. Ah, it's only been um, out like 30 years. 30? That's a little bit. I do love that movie. It came out in the 90s. That's not... Yeah, that wouldn't be yet. Quite 30 years, Chad. You're showing your age. <laughs> so, this stand had my favorites. When I went to Chicago, I just happened to stumble upon like a afternoon whiskey event <laughs> and uh actually he contacted me on instagram said i see you're in chicago we're doing a whiskey event this afternoon do you want free tickets and i was like mm, okay yep all my friends bye see you guys at dinner <laughs> <laughs> see you suckers i just got invited to a whiskey festival yep and so i went by myself oh, there you go they were so worried I'm like it's in public with other people it's like but it's chicago i'm like yeah people live there people, <laughs> what's the big deal people live there two of you have lived here <laughs> there you go anyways what do you think Looks pretty good. If I had to guess the proof, I would say it's around 90. Yeah, but I think it, it's really nice. Um, it's got like a nice desserty flavor. Mm -hmm. um, they had one that's actually going to be released. He told me it was supposed to be on the shelves starting in March, so it may not have made its way outwards yet. But I would say this year to, to look for uh, new stuff from them. I can't remember the name off the top of my head. I wish I had written that down. <laughs> they had some pretty cool labels and stuff too, so I would definitely check them out. I think they're uh, one to watch out for. For sure. Man, sorry. It is hot in here. Okay, so yeah, I was like, is it too cold in here? I was like, no. No, it won't Once be. Once you start doing live, it yep. gets hot. Um, Monica says, am I considering the Bourbon Women Conference in August? Uh, yeah, I would love to go to the symposium. Um, any other things that I can learn and absorb from Peggy would be mm -hmm. delightful. You a uh, uh, little, I guess, maybe teaser, because Perry is releasing the live podcast that he recorded uh, yesterday as a podcast. But little tease from there, you did officially ask Peggy No Stevens to be your mentor. Yes, in front of a live audience, and she agreed, so yeah. that's basically uh, it's a contract. On record. It's on record now. Sarah's mentor of record is Peggy, Peggy No Stevens. 
For those of you who went to the New Orleans Bourbon Festival and did her seminar, you know why. She's amazing. The things she can do with whiskey and food. Yeah. Is amazing. She does some cool stuff. Yep. I basically, <clears throat> Jason says Sarah proposed to Peggy. Like, well, <laughs> a little. Yeah. <laughs> a proposed a mentorship, and yeah. she accepted. She accepted. Um, so I wanted to go to uh, our and poll. And she wants to steal Chad. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yes, let's go to the poll. We're going to go to the poll. So what I've been trying to do. Um, to the polls. To the polls. Survey says. Ding, ding, ding. We is, have a winner. Uh, is post uh, something on the community page on YouTube, post a poll or a question. So this last one I did is, uh, what's your favorite non-Kentucky bourbon? Um, and then I put uh, some options here. So starting with 49% of the vote is, I love me some non-Kentucky bourbons, and I listed it below. So we'll get to that soon. Coming in next at 16% is, I've tried non-Kentucky, but haven't found one I really like yet. Well, I'm sorry, tied for second, also at 16% is I haven't tried bourbon outside of Kentucky yet. Okay. 15% says I only drink Kentucky bourbon. And then 4% says I only drink non-Kentucky bourbon. So there you go. Oh, we have 33 comments. Wow, good luck. Yeah, probably can't get through all these. We have um, Tom Foolery makes a decent bourbon. Uh, McKenzie B.I.B. Weeded Bourbon out of New York. Balcones, MGP, Dickel, Bellmead. Oh, yeah, Bellmead. Yeah. Yeah, Bellmead's good. I got their pen right here. And Whistle Pig, Joseph Magnus, Single Barrel Cast Strength Unfinished. Say uh, hi to Perry. Hi, Perry. Oh, is he here? Yeah. Oh, hey, Perry. Um, we have another Balcones for their True Blue, High West, and Bellmead Cast Strength. Yep. Uh, Van Burnt Stillhouse Bourbon. Don't know that one. Oh, you want something else? We'll pick something. <laughs> I'm going to go through these. Uh, Wyoming Whiskey, Outrider, MGP. High West, anything but Burai. <laughs> so good and strange. So good and, and strange. strange. That's a, what people say about me. <laughs> we have another McKinsey Weeded B.I.B., so you got to try that. Tom Fuller, another one. Uh, old Pororo? Por Woodenville, Smooth Ambler, Big Level. Not a fan of the Big Level, got to say, Not a though. fan Not of the Big fan, Level, yeah. no. Uh, Widow Jane, but it is Kentucky. They try to say it's New York, but it's Kentucky. Balcones, Texas Bourbon, and Smooth, Am Smooth Ambler. Uh, Rocktown, Arkansas Bourbon, Whiskey, 92 Proof. Tomstown, uh, Pender Pendergask mm. Gold. Pendergask. <laughs> That's funny. New York, uh, 718 or 718 Bourbon. Sweet and spicy uh, with a nutty af after that. Uh, ooh, Ding. okay. Um, let's see. Now I'm going to do St. Augustine Distillery here Whoa, in Florida. Whoa, look at that. Uh, J. Henry. That looks like tea. Uh, another Joseph Magnus. Woodenville. Uh, 13th Colony, which we have a... Did we, we do, we do. It up? No, we do. We didn't bring it up. No. We have a sample of 13th Colony. Um, Irons One from Huntsville, Alabama. Bullet. <laughs> MGP, y'all. Actually, Four Roses. Well, unless you're talking about the rye. Rye is, uh, rye is MGP. Hmm? Bullet. I know. Uh, Breckenridge High Proof. Truly really enjoyed. Wyoming Whiskey. Woodenville High West. Um, Hubbard's Starlight Single Barrel. That's made up. <laughs> That's not <laughs> real. Uh, High West. Iron Root. We got an Iron Root in there. Harbinger. Yep. So, oh, yeah. Thank you. We still need to uncork that. Yeah, we do. Thank you for <clears> contributing <throat> those answers. Would you look at this? Okay, so this is uh, Garrison Brothers Cowboy Bourbon. This is from Tara Erickson. Thank you, Tara. It smells like a dessert. Uh, it looks like a dessert. I actually thought it smelled like desserty and also barbecue-y. Yes, barbecue, yeah. for sure. Which it's kind of reminds savory. me of like Woodford Double Oaked a little yeah. bit, but this is like... Pretty intense. Oh, it's like a um, those candied nuts, like a nut with a lot of you know candy, sugar or something sprinkled over it. Yeah. Candied pecan, but also yeah, the barbecue. Whoa. This That's stuff is dark. Yeah, look at that. What's the proof on this? Um, it isn't. Can someone tell me what the 2018 Cowboy Bourbon uh, proof is from Garrison Brothers? We were there. It wasn't ready yet. Yeah. We did not get to sample this when we were they out were, there. It was on the bottling line. Ooh, it was a hot day. Yeah. It was like a 110 degree day it in was Texas. It a hot day. It was toasty. Let's see what we got. Man, yeah, nuts. Wow. It's 
smell nuts. Oh, salted, salted almonds. Um, nuts. Yeah, salted. Uh, and desserts. What are those ones that are that, that break apart real easily? You see them on top of casseroles. Casseroles. Yeah, like a like a um, sweet potato casserole. It's that it's got like ridges, and it breaks Pe apart real easily. Pecans. No, not pecans. Maybe it is a pecan. And it just gets that way because it's baked. <laughs> Tell me which nut this is. <laughs> Have you seen this nut? <laughs> oh, man. Maybe a pecan. Also, don't say things like that when I'm about to take a drink. Salted almonds, maybe? Walnuts? 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 Maybe. I think it's walnuts. Yeah, I think it might be walnuts. Yeah. Do they go like this? 137 though? proof. Pecans do. 134 proof. No, so I did enjoy it. I was just trying rate. not to spit it out because he said something funny right before I took a drink. I did enjoy it, <laughs> just to be Mr. Peanut? Clear. Yeah. No, I think it's walnuts. It's a, um, uh, it's a um, you know, a sugared walnut, like on top of a- A crumble. A crumble, yeah. Oh. Wow. That's got a lot of flavor. A lot of rich flavors. Texas, yeah, Texas- Woo! Bourbon yeah. is just so different because Dang. of what happens with the intense heat. Mm, it's that like is smoky and nutty and dessert salty. in a glass. But desserty, but savory. It's so strange. Um, yes. Save from the spit take. That was close. Huh. Um, oh, David. He said, speaking of nutty, very excited for your first It's Bourbon Night barrel pick. Well, that's true. Same. Something Same. that's coming soon. Yes. Um, Jose. Certified Texas whiskey. Hashtag certified Texas whiskey. Hashtag Texas whiskey trail. Hashtag nutty. Cheers, Jose. That was kind of that weak. was weak on your part. Better. Better. Yeah, I've never tasted anything like this before, and wow. I don't mean that in a way that's like, oh, it's so unique and interesting. And I don't think we thanked uh, the person who provided this sample, but thank you to Tara Erickson. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Hmm. It is very warm. Wow. I'm getting hot. Probably because this is a denim jacket. This is my favorite so far of today. Really? Yeah. I would agree with you. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What was that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Just trying oh, to look at- Oh, flower. Oh, hey, my mom's- Hey, your mom's here. And pecans. she said flower and smell it. Do you not get like- I do. So, it, is that what you put on the top of- the um <laughs> can uh, you give us the recipe uh what did i say sweet potato casserole is that pecans mom pecans <laughs> mixed with brown sugar butter and flour it sounds okay. like yeah so pecans this like is like a pecan crumble this tastes like pecans that have that brown sugar and it's been baked on top of casserole if you were just to eat it off i love that she knew That's i didn't know so she was in the chat sweet. oh saying they're hi, all Carol. saying hi <laughs> <laughs> Yes, nice. she is on it. She knew exactly what he was talking about. Yeah. Mm. Pam, can you give them the broccoli casserole recipe? That'd be great, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> no, but this is completely like, you know, um, obviously smell and taste is linked to memory. Um, and I, I get, you know, just getting the, the top off of that uh, uh, sweet potato casserole. Interesting that you say that, because this is really like, it brings up a lot of food memories for me, and it's hard to pin down which one. And I'm getting just like a general Thanksgiving, like start of the meal or start of the day when you're snacking to like end of the meal. I mean, if I'm drinking coffee later in the evening, you don't do that, but in dessert, mm -hmm. it's sort of the whole thing in, in this little cup. Yeah, yeah. Which kind of sounds gross. Like if you put everything in a blender and mix it up, that'd be nasty. Um, but it's <laughs> reminding me of different points throughout the day. Yeah. And it's like a really warm and fuzzy feeling. I mean, at the heart of it, it's a whiskey. But on the top of it, it's giving those <laughs> those memories. That's my Aww. boy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> mm, yeah. Oh, man. The smell. I've never smelled a bourbon like this. This is really yeah. incredible. Mm. It, I wish we had gotten to get us a bottle when we were there. But the good news is we're going back to Austin in October. We've been officially invited. Um, by Daniel and Rex to come back for the now annual distillery party. You can get show on that. Show. Yeah. Oh, Tammy said, Carol raised a gentleman and a scholar. It's a compliment and a reference, and I love it. I love references. 
Did anyone know that he loves references? I love references. He told me something the other day. Herbi. Oh, what was it you said? I can't remember. That's the story for another time. Okay. <laughs> you were like, I'm kind of particular about something. I was like, really? <laughs> You're particular? I had no idea. Who knows what it was? I'm not particular about many, very many things. Not me. Hmm? <laughs> hmm? I'm kidding. It's a joke. So All right, what's next? Well, I don't know. Um, where do you want to go in the U.S.? Anywhere besides Kentucky, because we're already here. We can go to Woodenville, which is in Oregon. We can go to... I, no, is it Washington? It's Washington. Washington, yes. Whoops. Whoopsies. We can go to Chattanooga, Tennessee on the Chattanooga Choo Choo Train. The Chattanooga Choo Choo Train. I wish I didn't laugh at that and validate your jokes. You're only encouraging me. I know. I, I wish that... Um... Uh, it's a cast strength whiskey. Single barrel, 113.6 proof, and a, it's a McScrooge's selection, likely MGP sourced, but that's okay, because they're also outside of Kentucky. They are Indiana. Let's just bring them all out here. We got Breckenridge, if you want to go to Colorado. Breckenridge yes. is Colorado? Yes. So. <laughs> uh, high proof blend, 105 proof. And uh, Clyde Mays, cast strength, nine year, 117 proof. This would be uh, Alabama. Alabama? Alabama. Alabama. By the battery, Alabama. Not really out by the battery, but I like saying that. Is that where by the battery is? Alabama? Whew. That'd be bad if it's not. Oh boy, I need to learn my geography better. <clears throat> okay. Colorado? Why is someone saying Colorado question mark? I think they're, they're guessing like that's where it's from. Breckenridge? Yeah, Colorado, right? Yeah, I think so. I'm not losing my mind. No, you're not. Okay. All right, so what are we drinking? Okay. Um... Don't, don't look. Okay. <laughs> um, well, let's do... You said you wanted to try this uh, Clyde Mays. I think someone hacked your mom's YouTube. She's having a hard time. She's not typing these things. Really? Don't just don't read it. Okay. <laughs> just don't read it. We'll talk about it later. Okie dokie. Not good. <laughs> no, not good. Oh, where's Perry when you need him? Yeah. All right, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Patrick Fulmer. Went to Dickel Distillery yesterday. Dickel Barrel Select is very bourbon like. Hmm. There you go. Cheers to you. So again, we are trying the Clyde Mays cast strength, nine year, 117 proof. I remember this being kind of a pricey bottle, so we're super thankful to have this sample, uh, which is again from Matt at Whiskey Crusaders. Thank you, sir. Yes. <sighs> different. I mean, especially coming off that cowboy. Oh, wow. Yeah. Everything's going to be different than that. Yeah. 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 It's hard to get a nose after what we just had, which was so intense. Well, I think it's very classic bourbon smell, you know? Yes. But I get some brown sugar in there also. Um, I've wanted to try this for a while. It doesn't really smell high proof. It doesn't smell castring. But I could get the nine year. I think it's encroaching upon those, you know, older, older flavors. Okay, glad I got to try it. Also glad that I did not spend $109 on it when we were in Chicago together and yeah. I saw that bottle and I really wanted it because yeah. of how much I loved the, was it 92 proof? Uh, 92, 94? 92, I think 92, 92 proof Clyde Mays. I think that's um, the sweet that's spot the sweet for spot. Clyde Mays. That yeah. is a great bottle, 40 bucks, mm -hmm. a great bourbon. It went actually pretty far in like, not last year's, the year before um, Best Bourbons or something. Yeah, or something. this remember. is pretty good. It's got a really, really um, nice... Not worth that price point. No, but it's got a, a really nice uh, kind of uh, brittle type of aftertaste, I feel like. When was um, the last time I even had brittle? I think I need to have brittle again so that I can know what you're referencing. Yeah. Um, no, it's good. It's good. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it's good. Don't get me I like wrong. It. I'm not knocking it. No, but at most, I would say like price point. 70 bucks, maybe mm -hmm. 60, 70. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. It's it's tough. 
I'm I'm not sad that I passed on it now. Okay. Yeah. Is how I feel. Very thankful. Very thankful to have tried to it. To have tried it, absolutely. We it's actually been something I've been wanting to check off check for a while. Check that one off the list. Very good. Mm, I'm and thank thirsty. you again. Thank you again, Matt. Thanks, Matt mm, for at that. Whiskey Crusaders. Mm. I mean, I, the, the finish is definitely the best thing for me. I think uh, there's not a whole lot to say about the palate, but the finish, I like that that taste. Well, good. <laughs> well, good. As long as you're happy. Well, good. <laughs> well, good. Well, good. Maybe we can get through all these. Maybe so. Small, small sips. I think maybe small we can. Small sips. Yeah, small sips is key. Small so that was the Clyde Mays Castring, nine year. Yeah. So I got a little bit. A little bit to go. Let's let's take some questions. What uh, what's your all's favorite outside of Kentucky? Oh, that's a good question. I would like to know that. I mean, some people may have already said so in the uh, you know the community tab, but we'd like to we'd like to hear it again. I think um, I think my favorites right now would be the Bellme Cast Strength and the Iron Root Harbinger. Yeah. Those are my two. I'm gonna put Cowboy up there. Ooh, okay, I could add that up there now. Yeah. Yes, um, fair. Uh, Garrison Brothers, yeah. That's and, definitely the best. And we went out there, we had that uh, that finished whiskey. Mm -hmm. uh, Esposito, something like that. Was it Esposito? No. Okay. <laughs> it was something like that, but it wasn't that. Oh uh, yeah. That's Maybe a song, uh, one isn't of you it? Texans can can help us. Yeah. What's the Garrison um, Brothers finished? Whiskey. Mm. Uh, is it Shakira? Eric Jansen just signed up for Patreon. Woo! Why? That deserves. That deserves. A triangle. A triangle is what it, is what it deserves. Hey, Bourbon King, you're not the newest uh, patron member. Don't be mean. <gasps> I'm just saying. Wow. I congratulated him on being the newest patron mm. in person mm. yesterday. That's true, you did. Yeah, that's all. It's not a like, hey, hey. It's like it's a, a, felt like a no, 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 not at all, <laughs> not at all. I'm just giving you a hard time, Chad. There's nothing more fun. Estacado. Estacado. <laughs> Est Esposito. I think that's. I think uh, you're coming from that song. That song. Yeah. <laughs> How's that song go? And who's the artist? Don't. No. No one. No one. Lead <laughs> him down this path. No, come on. Nope. Come on. Something with Justin Bieber, and someone else. Oh, then never mind. That's what I said. Ugh. The Bieber, the Biebs. No. Mm mm. Oh, jeez. No, thank you. <laughs> oh, a, pa a, a, a patron joining should be a Jaeger bomb? I don't think so. Oh, come on. <laughs> we put that. I higher, only do those uh, for good causes now. Oh, really? Just no, I, those for good I just decided to the say good that. The good cause of $100 super chat? <laughs> or a donation or to a, donation. a nice cause. To a, yes, a worthy charity. There we go. All right. Or something. Where do you want to go? You want to go down to Tennessee? How about that? Okay. Let's do some Adam Nelson. Ooh, Eleanor. True, Jose. Very good point. Ooh, the nutty one. 1860? Question mark? Eight. I don't know. Who put a question mark in the teleprompter? I thought it was the 62. It might have been the 60. No, I want to say it's the 60. I can't remember. I don't know. You tell us. Jose. Who knows? You That's know, been almost a year ago. They're doing a finished, uh, finished whiskey, I do believe. We got to come back with some bottles of that this year for sure. For show. We're gonna do that for show. For show. All right, is this clean? Yep. All right. Got a little, got a little sing it, Chad. No, probably not. No, don't let him do it. <laughs> uh, I'd go up a deer <laughs> for a Jaeger bomb. <laughs> I donated 400 bucks to a party source last night. I think that's bomb worthy. <laughs> no, no. Uh, DHS, yeah. My liver needs a little bit of a break. Um, we've had a couple of weekends back to back to back. Started doing some small pours here. Yes, today. small pours. Um, whoa, whoa Joseph. Joseph! Welcome, new patron Eric. Eric. Thanks, we Joseph. Agree. Thank you, Joseph. To you, sir. I think we decided so that twenty dollars or more got the triangle, but we just did the cowbell. So. Well, yeah. Well, well if you want the triangle, we'll, we'll give do it. it. We'll give it the triangle. You can vote. The choice is yours. <laughs> Press one on your remotes. Now, lock in those votes. You guys remember America's Funny Song videos? Lock in those votes. Yes. Now. I always wanted to be on that show. I, think I we won't let you kick me in the crotch on video so we can send <laughs> No, it I mean like a video from like my childhood. Oh, yeah. Good news. 
<laughs> Good knows. Again, we're trying uh, the 1816 Chattanooga. Cast strength is 113.6. It's a McScrooge's pick. Likely MGC sourced. Jose says 1860 is so nutty, 1862 is orange peel. Okay, that's what I was thinking, yeah, 1860. 18, sorry, I'm sorry, I was wrong. It's okay, it happens. Hey, 200 people right now are watching us. They're watching this mess? Yep. <laughs> awesome. Cheers to all 200 of you. It's really easy. This does not drink like 113.6. Very easy. It tastes like a nice round 100. I don't know about that. And thank you again to Adam Nelson for this sample. Mm. You feeling it? Well, I mean, I like how smooth it is. It's got a little bit of a creepy heat on the end. I'm getting some um, lemon Lysol wipes. Whoa. I mean, I can get the lemon. Not so much getting the Lysol wipes. I don't want to. Okay. <laughs> they can't all be winners. I, I'm enjoying it a little bit more than you, I believe, but um, well, it's okay. You don't have to drink it all. You can just, you can just see. Now we're down to one ninety nine. Look, it's because like, oh. what you said. <laughs> I mean, yeah, not my fave, but pretty solid. No, I'm, I'm gonna give this a no. Okay. For now, I maybe need to come back to it. I, I find that hard to believe though, because it's a mixed Scrooge's selection. Right. That seems like fighting words. What I just said. <laughs> I think I need to revisit, but my first instinct was a no. Um, oh, bye, Swan. Hey, Swan. Love you, mean it. Didn't realize you were in Sorry here. Sorry for hugging you so much yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Never apologize for hugging a man. Um, okay. <laughs> let's see. Let's go up to Washington. You want to do that? Yeah, sure. Okay. Can so, we stay with Joseph? Yeah, we're we'll staying with Joseph. Uh, so this is Woodenville Whiskey Company Bourbon. Cast strength, single barrel, 123.6 proof. And this comes to us courtesy of Tony. I don't want to butcher your last friend. name. Friend. Friend or friend. Friend or friend. We decided this once on an episode before. He even gave us the phonetic spelling, I think. And then we forgot. And then I forgot. Um, because, of course, why wouldn't I forget? I can't remember anything. If I don't write it down on my phone, it doesn't exist. And how do you write down a phonetic? Well, you could have written down this phonetic. Yeah, but that's yeah. okay. <laughs> well, Tony... Who we ran into again, of course, at the New Orleans Bourbon Festival. What? What, you want to do that? No, go ahead. Okay. Mm, sticky. Friend, there he is. Yeah, okay. You remember this time? Friend? Friend, he said. Friend. 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 Okay. You got a friend in me. No, I'm sure he doesn't like that. <laughs> no, probably not. Uh, do you need a new glass? I guess. Yeah, I just, yeah. Oh, I almost knocked over my triangle. Yikes. Is something that you often hear people say. <laughs> <laughs> that old chestnut. <laughs> tell us a story about you, how you almost knocked over the triangle. Grandma, tell us about that time you knocked over that triangle. <laughs> well, I reckon I can spin you the yarn, is how you'll talk eventually. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Okay. Uh, art. Winnings, which I think that's how you say your last name. You're and winning. if it does, like, that's awesome. If it does. If it does. If, if that it does. Is, if it does. Then it do. Then it do. <laughs> Says, <laughs> you're a jerk. Is you is or is, is you, you ain't. ain't. <laughs> Thanks for helping me on my bourbon journey. Sipping on some Old Forester 1920 while eating barbecue. That sounds delicious. Great, Great Sunday. Sunday. Also super pumped. You both enjoyed the Red Breast 12 on St. Patty's. And we did. We did. And we did. Thank Thanks. you. Winning. <laughs> yes, that should be your official hashtag. Technically, fr fr frowned? Frowned? Frowned in Germany. Frowned. 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 In, in German. I don't know. Don't well, say it. Tony. We call you Tony F? We'll go Tony. Tony, Tony, Tony. Tony, Tony, Tony. 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 <laughs> Joseph Brazo, Woodenville is farm to burl. Oh, I like that. Is you is or is you oh, ain't my baby. Dave Pickerel helped these guys start in 2010. That might explain why I like it so much. Joseph! Joseph! He says he loves his new Drink More Bourbon etched glasses, which they've already been featured on a few of his Instagram posts. 
And I can't thank him enough. We Absolutely. can't thank him enough for that. Yeah. So awesome. But he says they've already been put to good use. People, As go to whiskeyambitions.com and get yours now. If you don't believe, if you don't believe um, him, then go look at his Instagram because he kindly uh, put some pictures up. There you go. There you go. Of our glasses, so you can see them. Um, yeah, whiskeyambitions.com IRL in real life is uh, is where those uh, I believe they're uh, six or eight ounce um, rocks glasses. Uh, so a neat pour doesn't look lost in them. Uh, actually, on the website, we we're, we show it with a two-ounce pour, so you can kind of see how it is. And we love that logo. We think it's great. We love the Drink More Bourbon thing. That will eventually be coming on a T-shirt on some Glen Cairns coming soon. And, um, yeah. So, there you go. All right. Again, we are having Woodenville Cast Strength Single Barrel, 123.6. Thank you, Tony F. Tony Friend. He's our friend. He's our friend, Tony. Joseph is the man. You're right, Jeff. Just FYI, I'm pretty sure Chad's mom's account has been taken over by someone else. I don't think that's her typing, so please don't interact with her. No. That would be great. <laughs> I think she would appreciate it in real life uh, if you didn't. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So let's all just ignore. Let's ignore that, yeah. I wish I could have made one of you guys a moderator before this. <laughs> I need a backup backup moderator. Yeah, that's right. It needs to be Perry, Swan, and then someone. That's right, yeah. For events like these. Um, that's really good. That is really good. That is really good. It, I could also say it doesn't taste like 123, but it does taste like a high proofer. I mean, wow. That's got some, some barrel in there with some, what is that? I mean, it's got some baking spices going on. Uh, it's a thinker. What do you think? I think that it's interesting. I like it. It's hot. After that cowboy, it's really hard to like measure my. Well, if we'd known, we would put that cowboy last. Um, hmm. That's good. And what I love about Woodenville, they have a great bottle. Um, it's kind of like etched. It's an etched bottle, so you know it's proprietary, or at least you know made specifically for them and they have a lot of products and all the ones that we've tried so far we have liked so Wood i haven't had anything from woodenville that i didn't woodenville. like woodenville and the good thing about tony friend our friend friend Fr friend <laughs> is he sent us like a bunch of woodenville so we might just end up having a woodenville live show <laughs> uh or maybe an episode maybe we could do a, an uncorking episode or something we're just yeah i think it would be great Run through the Woodenville. Just do a Woodenville episode. Yeah. Where we just do a bunch of Woodenville. We, even have, we like, have so many syrup. things. We have Woodenville syrup. I could make pancakes. Bourbon for breakfast. I could make those waffles again with mm, the apples yes. and we could put. Yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, man. That was good. Yeah, that was good. You did good. You did good. 201. Thanks, Thanks everybody. What? Yeah. Jose, you may. What? Boom. Boom. Jose, I think you just should have just got like a, a shield have notification. The power! <laughs> Nutty Squad represent. Troll. Bing, bing. Now he's representing. Get out of here. Nutty Squad. We need a Nutty Squad crest. Hans! Hans! What are you doing? This is all the triangles. I think it's both. Never got to say congratulations on 20K subscribers, so congrats on 21. Have a great Sunday, and adding on the new rocks glasses are incredible. Wow. Snaps. Thank you. And Snaps. a cowbell. And a cowbell. Snaps. What are we, beatniks? No, that's the new thing. Snaps. Oh, okay. When Snaps. you like something. Snaps. Snaps. I like it. Thank Hans. you. We had a great time <laughs> eating pizza with Hans. And, and, I think and I woke up Kyle, just to eat pizza and then fell back. Blind, and his wife down in New Orleans. Um... That was that was a good time. Even though we we didn't end up doing what we'd set off to do, I think it was even It was still even, fun. Yeah, it was I still had fun. a great even time. Better, even better. So yes. Thank you, Hans. I'm sorry for being so thank cranky and that. falling asleep in that hotel chair. Sorry. But when the pizza came, I was happy to eat it. Yeah. And I was very happy to sit and talk with you good. all until I fell asleep. It was pretty decent pizza. It wasn't a bad way to spend a night. Mm-mm. I don't know, this Woodenville is giving the cowboy a run for his money. Mm. 
the cowboy is just so unique. I it's mean, this so is unique. more like this is more like I would put this more in like it's more like a Kentucky type of mainstream taste and feel. Yeah. Mainstream, and there is nothing wrong with that. I mean, nothing you don't wrong. have to be hipster whiskey. You can taste like just good salt of the earth. You know, great, <laughs> great bourbon. Jose says Snaps is so hipster in Austin. Wow. Well, he is the new moderator. I want to get him a shield with a bourbonite crest on it. Oh yeah. He will be our defender. All moderators should have that. So the I have the power. I don't know if you got that, but that is. A oh, explain it to me. Masters, he man in the Masters oh, is that universe. It? Yeah. Oh, okay. I don't know. Yeah. I don't no. know if you watched that. <laughs> you probably all Shira. I shouldn't assume that just no. because you're a girl that you like Shira. What happens when you assume, Chad? You make an ass out of you and me. Yes, but not out of me. Um. Yeah, just me. Come so uh, I can't remember now who asked. So wait, how much is a Jaeger bomb? How much is the Jaeger bomb? That was uh, Trevor. That was Trevor. Okay. Trev, Trev it, you can't we, afford it. We have... Oh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. If you have to ask... You can't afford it. You can't afford it. it. No, we've... No. Uh, well, Carl, the legend Ivy, set the standard... He started at it. ...at a $100 Super Chat. We've done it also for it charity. It did have to come from one person, though. You no, could crowdsource it on you your own PayPal it as long and as then you do get, it. That's true. Or you could just PayPal us. Get 10 people to PayPal $10. I don't yeah, know. It's Get 20 night. Pe people to PayPal $5. It's bourbonite at gmail.com. It's the... Uh, <sighs> Or at paypal.com slash it's bourbonite. Yeah, I just don't really want to do a Jaeger bomb today. I will take one for you. Oh. Yeah. I don't know if they want to see you take... No, I don't know what they want. Jaeger bombs are a different level. I mean, especially when you're drinking bourbon. The legend has graced us with his presence, by the way. Carl the Man Ivy? Yes, that's right. Or the legend Ivy? But you can call him whichever. I'm sure he's fine with it. <laughs> right now, Hans is the man. Carl will remain the legend, but Hans is the man. Tony Curtis skipped a uh, rehearsal to listen to us, and I think that's pretty special. I think it's I think it's very very He's special. He's Chad splaining, not mansplaining. I'm Chad splaining. I me, love that. Let me Chad explain something. He too. likes to Chad explain his references that were before my time. <laughs> because yeah. he's older. A little bit. Just a little bit. Just a moment. Just a moment. Reference. Drink more water, folks. Someone should put that on a water glass, Chad, and then sell it online. At whiskeyambitions.com. It's not there yet. <clears throat> we got one more to go, Sarah. All right. What are we going to do? We're going to go to Colorado. We're going to go to Breckenridge Distillery. Uh, this is the high proof blend. Uh, 105 proof. Again, this comes courtesy of Matt at Whiskey Crusaders. Todd kindly reminded uh, Tony K who just joined us, yes. who skipped rehearsal for this, that we thanked him for his uh, contribution of the uh, Forgiven Bottles at the beginning of the episode. We sure did. I can't thank you enough for that. You don't see these very often. Where'd you go? There you are. Forgiven. We are honored to receive two bottles from your stock. Very honored. Because we know what thank they you. meant to you. Yes. Thank you. Mm-hmm. This is the last one? Yes. It oh, is. goodness, thank you. <laughs> Lord, thank you. Breckenridge Distillery, Colorado, 105 proof. Um, that's all I got. <laughs> that's all you got. That's all I got. What do you guys have? <sighs> Interesting. Pretty classic, though. I feel like it's pretty classic. I'm doing the three blast method. I think it has like an artificial peach note. <laughs> you know, too many times I'm gonna pass out. <laughs> no, the three blast method with your lips parsed was. Yes, know. three blast method. Let's put that somewhere. Hashtag three blast method. No. No? No. T shirt? Not a t shirt. Okay. I will not stand near you if you wear that t shirt. <laughs> I absolutely won't. I want to go hang out with Tony in Maine so we can eat good um, seafood. Lobster? Crab? No, I like crab, but. Yeah. King crab? You can have lobster. Oh, but the taste. That's very classic bourbon. Yeah. I mean, it borders on dry. Um, but it's really good. It's got a good finish. I like it. How do you feel about it? Um, I feel pretty toasted. <laughs> you think Chad is blasted? Lobster. Chad's not, Chad's not. <laughs> Todd Cooper. <laughs> lobster. It was a rock. Lobster. lobster. It was a Todd 
Cooper. Cooper. <laughs> we gotta stop doing those things because his name, name just, it just lends, lends itself, itself <laughs> to many artistic interpretations. It's true. Yeah. Um. I like it. <clears throat> I also like it. I think it's great for a 105 prover. Agreed. It's not my favorite of the day. Okay. What is your favorite of the day? It's between the Woodenville and the Cowboy. And, like, you couldn't blind me with them because I would know. Uh, Little Ivy, which I love. That <gasps> Little you say Ivy. Little Ivy. Just walked in with Jersey Mike's. What to pair? What Ooh. sandwich? What sandwich? And did you get the sauce? Legend. What sandwich? Legend. Did you get a Mike's Way or not? Mike's Way, yeah. We need to know. Legend. I'm calling yes, it Legend. Yes, Jason now. still also wants to know. Mike's yes. Way or no? Yeah, Mike's Way or no. You, I mean, you gotta, come on, come on. Ooh, a lobster roll you know, would be really good right now. Chad, I'm hungry. Has everyone seen City Slickers? No. Do you remember the part? I'm just gonna act like you said yes. Didn't I? Did we watch it together? We did. Oh, I don't remember. Uh, so the, the two guys who were like the Ben and Jerry's guys, they were on the, the cattle the cattle run, and uh, they had this challenge like, we can pair any ice cream with any meal. So Billy Crystal's character, like, sea bass sauteed and he listed all this stuff it potatoes au gratin like this really abstract meal and then he was the the ben and jerry's guy was really nervous he's like and he pulls out um i forget the ice cream pralies and cream or whatever and he was like yes that's it he was like what what do you mean how can how can you say that's a perfect thing he was like 120 locations across you know 30 states that's how and so i feel like we could say anything about what, what pairs with that Jersey Mike's? And then we could just say, it's bourbon night. Carl it's says, bourbon night. the Italian always Mike's way. The Italian Mike's way. Okay. So the it's going to be salty. It's going to be. Yeah. Acidic. Yeah. Um, perfect thing. Lots to of savory. Pair with that. Would you, well, no, let's go to Peggy. Would you go balance, counterbalance, or explosion? I would probably go balance. I would also go balance. Yeah. It's a hefty sandwich. Yeah, it's a hefty sandwich. I feel like... For balance, I think you need something a little bit on the lighter side. What did we have... Uh, what did we have earlier? Few? Was that the Union one that, horse? Uni, what's the one that kind of had that um, barbecue type of We talked about that with the, with with the Garrison, Garrison brothers? brothers. Yeah, but that's too heavy, I think. I think it's that's too heavy. explosion. It's pretty heavy. It's pretty heavy. It's pretty heavy. I Ooh, would go... larceny. That's a good choice. Okay, a weeder. A weeder. Okay. I think a weeder um, because I think the lightness and the sweetness of that against like the salty, savory, vinegary. Balance. Yeah, I think that will give you some balance. Go, yes, I would go Weller or Weller. Larceny or Weller, Weller Special, Special Reserve. Reserve. Yep. Yes, we did it. We were right. Uncontested. Uncontested. I agree. I agree. Mm -hmm. Even the McKenna tenure would be good too. It would. But it's always good. It is always good. I enjoy. I enjoy. Well, we're wrapping wrapping uh, up here. Winding and I'm hungry. Down. Sarah's hungry. We gotta get her some. They food. said Jersey Mike's in. I wanted it. Um, Michael Campbell wants we a high five close. from you. High five? From you. Chad, can I get a high five? Yes. That's what he said. Oh, I'm supposed to do it? I mean, do I like do the lens? Do I self high five? Right. I'm you in this <laughs> scenario. There you go. Tony! All to help with our trip up to Maine. Tony, 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 Tony. You get a triangle because of the instruments and things. And I'm pouring some more cowboy for a cheers to you, sir. Monica wants me to eat the chocolate. <clears throat> well, we don't have much time. Yeah, we got like less. Can well, we, we just got about like, a minute. Can, can, what? can, can you, can hmm. you okay. do the thing? I haven't gotten up yet, so probably should. Tony, 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 Tony. Oh, going to see Bill? Well, maybe we could make that a part of our main trip. I want to eat crab legs. I want to see Tony. I want to drink Forgiven with him. And I want to see Bill. Yeah. So, sure, let's make a trip of it. Let's make a day of it. Who's going to pay for me to take an unpaid vacation day? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I have used all of my vacation days because there's this thing going on later this year where, like, we get married or something. Something like that. When are we gonna do Wyoming? I don't know. There's so many things. Like, taste it or go there. Oh, Joseph! Joseph! Triangle? Well, yes, but 
chocolate, and I feel like the cowboy's gonna go. Oh, that's a lot. I didn't mean to give that much. Oh, um, thank you. Maybe it can be an early 2020 trip, or maybe it'll be later this year. That worries me. <laughs> I, I'm also worried. Wait. So this is um, Lily's. Lily's. 40% chocolate and milk, stevia sweetened, no sugar added. Salted almond. Oh, you love salted Doug's almond. Doug's here. Doug, the jasmine. Carl. Carl, the legend ivy. Char Carl so says, much. here's the crowdsource pairings and the number 13 from Jersey Mike's. Cheers. Mike's way. And Doug. And Doug says, finally got Jeff up. finally got up, so, so here. So here. <laughs> Can I call you Jasmine? <gasps> Jasmine. Jasmine. Jasmine Doug, go follow him on YouTube. Jasmine. His, the honey that he gave us was delicious. Oh, Dub's honey hole. I think that's should be. The I don't name think of you channel. can. I don't think you can do that. Chad would Sense, like you to name your channel uh, Doug's, Doug's honey, honey hole. hole. <laughs> but it's actually called Sense and Sensibility. No, Taste and Sensibility. Sense and Sensibility is a book. But that's okay. Taste and Sensibility. If you love honey, or you call people honey, or you like being called honey when you go to Waffle House, go subscribe to his channel on YouTube. Yes. Mm. Doug the jazz man gets the jazz. Monica, hands. I know I didn't have to try this right now, but I'm hungry. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna see how it pairs with some gal boy. <laughs> Remember that Kid Rock song? Todd, well, I'll take a good trip up to Maine. Ooh, it started that's with good. gal boy. All right? Any uh, Kid Rock fans in the house? <laughs> I feel like we're about to have an explosion. <laughs> that sounds awful, but. I feel like we're about to have an explosion. <laughs> <laughs> Jason Estelle says, Chad highly recommends Doug's Honey Hole. He says it's delicious. <laughs> that's what people will say if he changes his name. That's what people will say. But also people will subscribe because that's funny. Yeah. Kentucky Derby is one month away, says David. Uh, do you have any derby traditions or how do you celebrate oh, the derby aside from drinking bourbon? It's usually, uh, I would imagine we would make a tight spot because it's a mint drink that we enjoy much more than the mint julep. Oh, yeah. If you go look up uh, our Drink More Bourbon Cocktails episodes, there's a playlist on our YouTube channel. You can watch the How to Make a Tight Spot. The only omission that we didn't have information on in that episode is to get some tiki bitters. And tiki bitters really makes it Joseph with the dollar. <laughs> Just trying to be the... the I love uh, it. On the leaderboard? We appreciate it. Thank you, Joseph. <laughs> Just let it go. Just let it go. I can't read that out loud. Just let it go. Keep going. Show some Brazel, though. No, uh, -uh wow. not today. <laughs> not, to, not today. Not today, Brazel. And we're talking about how to make tight spots. It's a whole thing. This episode's gone downhill. We've been flagged on YouTube. Also, because totally. of the trolls. Hey, good pairing, though. Yeah, it's really good. So, Chad, would you have ever guessed that this chocolate was sweetened with Splenda? Stevia. Yeah, because I read it out loud earlier. So, yes. No sugar added. Stevia sweetened. Yeah. Thanks, Monica. No guilt. We do have a moderator, Doug. Actually, right now, it is Jose. Jose has just been granted his moderating He's privileges. He's been dubbed moderator. Perry couldn't be here, so. Yeah. An old school, old school comment. Old school? That's what uh, Joseph Brazo said. Um, oh. <laughs> you guys need to start making PayPal donations. YouTube takes so much money, and it's not okay. Yeah, we do have a PayPal. Um, I think we, is it not in our description? Mm -hmm. It is in our description. Yeah, it's like youtube.com slash PayPal. PayPal, because some people have asked oh, for it. PayPal.me slash it's bourbon night. Yes. Um, so you can do that if you no, don't want to super chat. And that is, would be nice. Which I think is right. The only problem is, you know, we wouldn't see it immediately, like when we're doing the show. So, it wouldn't But be hey, right. maybe at the top of the next episode, we could do our PayPal shout outs. There you go. Yeah. That'd be cool. Yes, they said PayPal isn't fun okay. because it doesn't pop up in the chat. Right. True. Right. Or you could chat, I just sent you X through PayPal. And then I would be like, if you tag us, I'll see the orange and I'll be like, hey, that's the color. Mm-hmm. Or maybe this get, is like, really good together. Notifications on the phone or something. Yeah. About it. Really good. Let me I'm out. Oh. Well. Mm -hmm. That is really good with chocolate. And like the nuts that are in here, but this isn't so sweet, and that it's like a really good. Oh, that's good, a really good pairing. It's a really good pairing. It it. This is gonna be weird to say, but it takes 
that really uniqueness of the cowboy, and it kind of reins it in. It does. Like it makes wild them... horses kind of break the horse. Right? But you can't drag them down. Can't or they drag can't down. drag you down. They can't keep dragging me down. Yeah. It's good. It's really good. This chocolate's awesome. So, what's your winner of the day? I can honestly say the cowboy. Now Again, that I know how well it pairs with chocolate. Thank you wow. to Tara Erickson for this bottle of cowboy. That's that's good. When we go back to Austin, we may have to go back out there and be like, can give us a cowboy, or can we buy a cowboy? <laughs> be more like it. Um, yeah, thank you, Jeff Winbush. Get those likes in. Those are always cool. We dig them. We like for them thumbs up. Um, mm, thank you, Monica, for this chocolate. For this chocolate. And that purse. I feel like every time we do these thank yous, we're praying. And I'd like to thank Monica for the chocolate <laughs> and the purse. Thank you, Monica, for the chocolate. Oh, is that how you pray? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's from um, uh, Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Oh, yeah. The chanting and then the hit in the face. Yeah. Save a horse, drink a cowboy, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. In this way. In not, this way. What's wrong with you? Nothing. A lot. Bill Erickson, he loves the cowboy bourbon. Can't say that I blame him. Oh, that was loud. No. Sorry, headphones, people. Yeah. <laughs> a uh, cowboy cowbell for you. Boom. All right. Taryn Scott would like a polling chat. What's the best Texas bourbon? I would, I'm Ooh. also in intrigued by that. Yeah, that would be, whew, man. We got to do our Iron Root Harbinger uncorking Yes, soon. we are. So we can weigh in on that, because mm -hmm. it's been a minute since we've had the Harbinger. Mm -hmm. And we have Balcones now. Balcones, it's true. We have this cowboy, we yes. have some lovely things, so we should do that. We should it's do an it. episode. We should do it, it's an episode. But and we'll have to get some, we'll have to find a way to get our hands on some Eleanor. Yeah, true. All right, anyways. Cool, that'll do it for us. Um, yeah, thanks guys. Welcome Mark for your first live, and hey, thanks yeah, everyone else. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, I mean, you know, Follow the show at It's Bourbon Night. Thumbs up. Question if we get into it, leave it in the comments. Uh, WhiskeyAmbitions.com for our gear. Um, Amazon Influencer page is Amazon.com slash shop slash It's Bourbon Night if you need any fun gifts. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that'll about do it for us. Patreon.com slash It's Bourbon Night. But do you guys know what happens next week? Game of Thrones comes back, and Matt at the Whiskey Crusader sent us some samples of the Game of Thrones scotches. So we will be doing some of those, and we'll also be doing some wine finished stuff, because what do they do in Game of Thrones besides die? They, they drink a lot of wine. Things, they drink wine. And they drink a lot of wine. Yeah. Uh, so we will be doing all of those things next week. That'll be our episode. Uh, and we will see you then. Thanks, yes. Chad. Thanks, Sarah. It never happens this way. I know it. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. And do you want to say the rest? No, you go for it. Mm. Until next time, drink more bourbon. <laughs>